Hey, it's Kim and welcome back to Pokemon Breaks. Today we finally have a box of Incandescent Arcana to open up. I am so excited about this set and more character rares and character secret rares. I ordered a few boxes and they took quite a long time to come so I am just over the moon to finally have this in my hands and be able to open it and share it with you. If you enjoy these kinds of unboxing videos, please leave this one a like, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would mean the absolute world to me. I really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, so this is Incandescent Arcana. The set looks absolutely beautiful. I am really excited to see the cool Vulpix cards. Uh, there's a Vulpix V-Star, which looks absolutely stunning. As far as pulls from this one, there are a ton of really beautiful character cards. There's character secret rares as well, which would be amazing hits. There's some gorgeous full art trainers. Um, in my opinion, I would say the one dud secret rare, the one that I really don't want, is the Magirna full art. If I get anything else... I'm going to remind myself of this later, bring myself back to this moment because I've recorded it. If I get anything else from my CSR um, or from my Secret Rare, I'm going to be happy and I'm not going to complain about it, but the Magirna Full Art is just, it's not the one that we want. <laughs> we have a gorgeous Del Fox to start us off. I'm so excited to see these new artworks. That is absolutely stunning. We have a super cute little knitted Esper, absolutely sweet, a beautiful Melodic. Oh, start us off with a hit. We have the Vulpix V. Absolutely gorgeous. I, I'm so obsessed with this set. I'm so excited about it. Oh, and the Vulpix V star. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. Okay. So we were just discussing how beautiful these cards are and we get them out of the first pack. Oh, and last up, sorry. We have a reverse of the Fury Sewed Girl. So beautiful. That is one of the full art trainers that I would really like to see. As far as the more sort of valuable, expensive cards in the set, the Full Art Serena is definitely the most expensive one. I honestly would probably prefer the Full Art Fury Soot Girl. I think it's just, just that little bit prettier. Um, but as far as Secret Rare hits, I sort of feel like the CSRs are where my heart is for the time being. Um, I'm so excited to get to open up these new cards though. This is one of those sets that as soon as like the preliminary information was released. I was really excited. We have a gorgeous Swablu, really, really cute. A Salandit, that is a gorgeous artwork. Really beautiful nighttime scene. Jinx, that is terrifying. And we're gonna move swiftly along into Radiant Jirachi. Okay, I'm really happy with this box. We have the best Radiant in the set, in my opinion. We got the Jirachi, that is so sweet. Uh, and behind it, we have a reverse of the, I think this is Kling Kling. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy with that Jirachi though. That is by far the best Radiant pull out of this set. And the Radiant Japanese cards just hit different. I do like the English Radiants, but I think the Japanese ones are definitely nicer. Um, I'm sleeving up my reverses and my hits. The rest of them, I do have a binder that I'm going to sort them. Probably not today. Uh, I, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna record myself saying I'll do any sorting today because it probably won't happen. But I will eventually sort these and put them in a the binder. Three weeks later, we have a really cute Whalmer. We've got the Clang. We have a Smeargle that is absolutely gorgeous. This is one of the character cards that looks really cool. We have Serena. We have a Zation. Sword Dog, I believe it's a Zation Holographic, and a Reverse Salazzle. That looks really nice in the reverse with that fire type. That looks really cool. There's a few Pokemon I sometimes get mixed up. Salandit and Salazzle are a couple, uh, and Zation and Zamzenta are a couple more. Um, I think they just look so similar, and my, my little brain just cannot comprehend. But anyway, we have a nice Holographic. I love opening these special Japanese sets because out of every pack, you at least get something shiny. You're guaranteed something nice. So that always makes these really fun. We have a Yanma, really gorgeous backdrop there. Very cute little Fennekin Fox. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Really bright and colorful. 
gorgeous Gardevoir. The Gardevoir CHR, I think it's a CHR, is one that I really need out of this one. We have a Scizor. We have a Holographic Volcarona. Volcanion. Holographic Volcanion. Oh, and a reverse of that beautiful melodic. So pretty. I really like the Pokeball Hollows. I'm a big fan. Um, I think it's really nice to see something different from the Japanese cards. I'm very over the current English reverse pattern. I've, I've had about enough of it. I don't know how you feel, but I, I feel like we need something different. Um, I do look back to previous generations and there were some really nice reverse hollows, even in English. And the ones from Sword and Shield, I've just had enough. We have a Bisharp, beautiful little Petalil. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. Be like gorgeous, sort of dark foresty background. I sort of put aside cards that I really want to paint, and I think that Petalil is going to have to be one. We have an Executor. Oh, we have the Holographic Mewtwo. This is one of the hollows that I really like out of this set. Mewtwo got a really cool card. And we have a little Paul Enard Reverse Hollow. Absolutely gorgeous. I love these little claymation ones. I think they are really cute. Something different. I think it's a really unique art style, just taking those cards, those um, sculptures and taking that and photographing them to create just a really interesting sort of art form for the cards. All right. What else? What else do we really want to see? I definitely am excited to see what character cards we get. I know we're guaranteed a few. We have a really sweet little Phoebus. That is adorable. Very sleepy little Phoebus. We have an Execute. I love these cards because every little facial expression is so different. Um, I love Execute cards. We've got a Clink. We have an Energy card. Ooh, I love this Color X. This is such a nice one. It's, it's so cool to see them without the horse. This is a really beautiful hollow. Yes, and we got the Serena character rare. That is so pretty. I'm so excited to have this one. This is definitely one of my favorite character cards out of this set. I mean, she's one of the superstars of the set, and this isn't even a CSR. It's just one of the regular character rares, and it is absolutely stunning. I'm so stoked to have that one. And another really nice hollow. I think this box, this was a great choice, especially based on the Jirachi. I'm really happy that that was the Radiant that we pulled. So I think this is going to be a good one for sure. Fingers crossed we don't get that Magirna. <laughs> I hope I haven't jinxed myself by saying it. Really gorgeous Scyther artwork. We have another beautiful Salandit. Um, a gorgeous Waylord. Very epic. We have a Crosswitch, I believe. A holographic Zamzenta, so Shield Dog and a reverse of that cool energy. That looks really neat as well with the pattern in the background of the image. I think the printing on these Japanese cards is just so next level. The reverses and the hollows are so shiny, so nice. Um, I'm also really excited by the sort of next generation of these cards. They are just so much more fun to look at. Um, looking into the next set, because of course it just never stops, but looking at the next set, um, that holograph, the, um, the Ho-Oh V card looks absolutely stunning. We have a beautiful little sleepy Chitot. I love all the sleepy Pokemon, they're so cute. We've got another Clang. We have a Carnivine that is so colorful and fun. I love that artwork. Another Jinx, moving along. We have a holographic Kyogre and a reverse of that beautiful Yanma. So many pretty artworks in this one. I am so excited to see what else we find in here. I think we're due another V card before too long. We've got a beautiful Esper again, another Paul in art. We have a candle. That looks nice. Looks like a diffuser. We have a Yawn Mega. Oh, that is nice. So we've got a Reshiram V. That is epic. That is such a cool artwork. And oh my gosh, and we've got a reverse holographic Arcanine that is beautiful as well. I think these fire cards in the reverse holo look really, really nice. They do just shine. They have a really nice shine. And I think that the silver border just offsets the orange in a really pretty way, which I'm very happy to have. And this is what I mean with these new gen V cards. Like that is just so epic, so detailed, so intricate and interesting to look at. So really stoked to have that one. 
I believe in this set and potentially other sets moving forward, similar to that first pack that we opened that had the Vulpix V and V Star in it. Um, I, I'm actually pretty sure that if you open one that has a V Star, that it will be in the same pack as the V, which is really helpful for players for sure. All right, we have a, I'm not sure what kind of item. That looks like an aloe gel though, I think. We've got another beautiful Arcanine. <sighs> All right, that's our that's our secret rare. We have the Ho-Oh Full Art that is really pretty. It's not a Magirna, so like I said, not gonna complain. And a Reverse Esper, which is so pretty. The pattern and the hollow on these Japanese Full Art cards is just something else. I don't know if you can see the texture there, but that is so pretty. I'm really happy to have this one. Um, it's it's not the most expensive card in the set, but it is absolutely stunning. One of the other full arts I really, really wanted to get was the Alolan Vulpix. It just looks so pretty. I think I may have to pick up some singles. I'll probably end up opening some more of this set on Twitch because I'm really enjoying it. I really like the artwork. Um, I really like the special arts and the character rares. So I think we may have to open a few of this one, which is definitely not a bad thing. Another sleepy little Chatot, <laughs> Clink. I love this Altaria. Uh, this is another one that's gonna have to go in my to paint pile because I think it just it just needs more. I just love it. We have a Mawil V, another really gorgeous, beautifully printed, beautifully designed V card a Mawil V-Star. So we got both in the same pack. Again, absolutely stunning artworks there. And last up, we have a reverse of that candle. This looks like one of those oil melters. I bet that's what it's meant to be. I am so excited to put these into my binder and <laughs> to hopefully complete at least the base cards of this set. Um, I'm not someone that feels like I need to chase like a full master set of everything. It's just not affordable for me, um, but I do like to be able to complete at least sort of the base set for these sets that I really enjoy with these really nice artworks. So I think this is definitely gonna be one I have to do that for. I'm sure we're owed at least a couple more character cards out of this box. We have a beautiful love disc. Oh my gosh, look at that Kirlia, that is stunning. Oh, she's just appreciating the flowers. We have a gorgeous Salazzle. We've got Judge. We have a beautiful holographic Tapulele. I love the flowers in there. That is such a pretty artwork. And a reverse of that gorgeous Kirlia. I am so excited about this set. I feel like I've said this about a few sets. Not every set. Um, so there's been there's been a lot of sets that I've I've enjoyed, but I've not been quite this passionate about. I think VMAX Climax is probably the other one that I would have felt this strongly about. I went overboard with VMAX Climax, but I really enjoyed it. Um, I think the character cards just add this extra level. We've got another Furiso Girl. We have Polinard, so we've seen a few of these already. We've got Fennekin, we've got Scizor, so these are some repeats. We have a holographic Zarud, and last up we have another reverse hollow of that Yan Mega. I mean, for anyone trying to master set, getting duplicates of the reverses within the same box is probably disappointing. Um, I'm happy to trade these kinds of things with other people because like I said, I'm not gonna try to chase the master. Just a little bit unwieldy for me, but I am really excited to see some more fun artworks. Fingers crossed, I hope this one has a character card. That is what I'd like to see. We've got a Smeargle, beautiful little routes. Oh my gosh, he looks like Prince Charming, that is so cute. Oh, I love this little Growlithe as well. I've started a binder with some of my favorite um, Pokemon in it and Growlithe has his own little special page. So I'm definitely gonna need one of those for that. We've got a Del Fox. We have a beautiful holographic Articuno. Ooh, and a reverse hollow of the Meowstic, which is really sweet. I love those autumnal leaves that you can see in the background. What else would I like to see out of this box? Definitely at least one more character. I haven't opened, I, I haven't opened any. I haven't watched too many unboxings because I do kind of like to be surprised. 
I've had a bit of a peek at the artwork. I'm still really loving getting to see it in person. We have another Mewtwo, never gonna complain about that. And the reverse of that super cute Phoebus. Um, I do think there should be at least a couple character cards within a box. We're getting towards the end, so hopefully I'm right. We've only got the one so far. Um, I think my favorite one out of this set would have to be the Gorgeous Gardevoir, though. Really, really pretty character card. Um, it reminds me of Beauty and the Beast, which is my favorite Disney film. So I'm hoping we get that one. If not, like I said, we'll be opening another box on Twitch. If you don't follow me there, I will put my link down below. Um, I'd love to see you there. I open stuff. I paint. Um, we play games. It is a really good time. We've got a ball switcher, an Entei holographic, and a reverse of that super cute Smeargle. So you can come hang out on Twitch. I will definitely be opening at least one more of these, if not two, on Twitch. So would love to see you there if you wanted to come hang out. Hopefully, I'd like to get the base set, like I said, and at least get all the character cards. Um, beyond that, I'll be pretty happy either way. I think that Fury Soap Girl card is definitely going to be one that I want to pick up. Got another really sweet Routes. Another Growlithe. Okay, so I've got one for my binder, which is great. We've got the Meow Stick. Beautiful, beautiful Liliant. Absolutely gorgeous. We have another Zacian and a Serena Reverse. Gosh, we're getting, we're getting towards the end. I think there's only a few packs left. I hope I'm not wrong about the character cards. Hopefully we get more than one out of a box. How many have we got left? We've got three packs left. Fingers crossed. We get at least one or two more out of three packs. I don't know though. I feel like, I feel like my time is running out, but I will maintain hopefulness. We'll be optimistic. We've got another pawn art. Beautiful routes. I really like that one a lot. Another Serena. A Melodic. Another Volcanion. Yes, we got this Miracle. That is so cool. Oh my God, that is so much fun and so chaotic. That is an incredible artwork. Really fitting, I guess, for me as well because I do love painting. So I'm very, very happy to add this one to my collection. Super fun. All right. All of my complaining about getting a character card paid off. We got another one. Um, what are the chances we get a third? Who knows? But we've got two packs left to go. I'll get some, some last pack magics in the comments, please. <laughs> Even though it will be after the fact. Uh, hopefully we get another good hit. I mean, that's, that's a greedy thing to ask for, but it would be nice. We've got a Phoebus. It looks like there is something in here. We've got a Delphox. I think I've gotten the names of those mixed up somehow. We have a Gardevoir. Absolutely stunning. We've got Energy. Ooh, okay. We've got the Magirna Regular V, which I am happy to add to my collection. I do want this card in my binder. I'm happy about it. The colors are really, really nice. The mix of like purple and green and blue and pink in the artwork is beautiful. And we've got a reverse love disc. The hollows on these Japanese V, V Max reverses, all of their holographic printing is just something else, to be honest. Really, really impressive. Okay, last pack, last pack magic. I'm really happy with what we found so far. I think I'm gonna be stoked with whatever it is. If we get one more card that we didn't have yet, that would be an absolute bonus. We've got a clink. Yes, so we did. All right, we have another trainer that we did not yet have. We've got a love disc. We have executor. We have another beautiful holographic Calyrex. <gasps> no way. <laughs> and we've got the melodic to wrap it up. Beautiful character rare. So we got three character cards out of the box. This is another one that I really enjoy. Again, the hollow is just next level. It's absolutely stunning and epic and i think that was the best unboxing um i'm really really happy with all of the pulls this is one of the reasons i really like opening japanese thank you so much for hanging out with me while i open that box of incandescent arcana like i said i am absolutely over the moon with the pulls i'm so so happy with what we found 
If you've opened any of this set, please let me know what your favorites were below because I'm really curious. I'll definitely be opening more. The artwork is absolutely stunning. Like I said, if you like these kinds of videos, please leave it a like, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot more than you realize. Until next time, please look after yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye. We got this. I'm a seasoned YouTuber now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> we have a reverse of the Fury Sewed Girl. Fury Sewed Girl. I can say words. And we have a little... What's your name? It's good? Good. Very good.